Hi, I'm Adam Taylor with ITS. Today we're going to be taking a look at a feature that's really great for keeping your students focused and for breaking up long stretches of the class where you feel you might be losing their attention. We do this through a system called voting. So with voting, you're sending out a single question to your class, really just so they're forced to engage, they're forced to kind of pay attention, and they get to participate in the class as well, so it makes it more fun for them. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how to push out the different kinds of votes, how to read the results back, and really just explore this as a way of engaging with your students. So to get started with voting, we simply go up to the vote icon, click there, and here we're presented with a couple of different options. So by default, voting will default to true or false. So we can write in a true or false question, and that will be sent out to our students who will be forced to respond. So let's start with the true or false question. Now if we click send, that will be sent out to our students. You can see here that's automatically popped up. And if we just go to each student in turn, they get a true or false pop-up box. So let's say true. And one for false. And as we can see on the teacher screen, it keeps track of these results in real time. So you can see the answers as they come in. You can also see what percentage of your class has voted. And when that bar is full, then you can present your results. Let's do one more for true. Now we can see here that 66%, so two thirds of my class said it was true and one third said it was false. You can also see how many students have voted, so the bar is full, all of them voted. And under details we can actually see who answered what as well. So you can sort these by the right answer and you can share that with the class if you want to. So you can throw a true or false question in to make sure your students are paying attention or just to break up a long tract. Let's try something a bit more complex. So we'll start a new question, and this time we'll make this multiple choice. So we'll make things a little harder now. We'll select multiple choice, and now they have five options instead of two. Again, we send that out to the class. The box immediately appears. And this time their prompt looks a little bit different. So now they have different options to select. Again, we can see these results coming in in real time just as before. So here we have one correct, two wrong. And again, just click on details, you can see who voted what, you can arrange it by the user's name, where they're sitting, or indeed by the actual answer. Now if you don't want to type out the question every time, that's fine. Once you've written out your question, just click save. And you can save that as a file and load that in at any time. So using votes is a great way to keep your students engaged with you, to make sure they are paying attention and to make things a little bit more fun, a little bit more interactive for them, a little more engaging and make it more of a two-way process with them. By incorporating votes into your class, things are going to seem more inclusive for the students. Everyone's involved, everyone gets a turn and it makes the teaching process that much more two-way.